Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. We are on episode number 13 of Let's Play the Record Breaker Campaign, season 2, for Crusader Kings 2. So we're assaulting stuff and things. And it's time to create some duchies, I think, because my son needs land. Obviously. You want to surrender, right? Okay, here, just surrender. Thank you. So we go V, 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 B, V, 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 B, V, 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 B. That gets rid of all those holdings. Great. And give those out to independent counts. I still do want to do the independent counts thing because it kind of forces my son to to have good taxation and conversion and all that stuff. Um, so, okay. So now we're going to go down this list of dutchable, like, creatable duchies. And we're just going to create whatever duchies. I don't care. As long as they're not kingdoms. No kingdom... Um, kingdoms are going to be allowed. Might make sense to not do this until I need the prestige to truce break. So let's just do... We'll just do some of them. Okay. Now we go to my son, who's 34, and we give him... All of those duchies. This will make him quite powerful compared to me. You know, once he has every single duchy, but... Worst thing he can do is kill me, and then I just play as him, so... It doesn't really matter, does it? Alright, so now we've got Azov is, like, there and over here now. So now we can raise his, his entire army, which is going to be pretty sizable in a number of places. We lost our Chancellor, which doesn't really matter. I'll take that one. Assault! Assault! Quickly! Assault all the things. You, assault! You guys, go here and then assault. You go up to there and then assault. Stand down. It's so nice actually being able to see the war scores be nice if it also organized them automatically based on percentage. Like if that was an option at least. Why are we getting ra vassal raised levies? Oh, that's, we reformed the faith. That's right. Not seeing any 100%, so we'll just continue to assault everything. Assault all the things. What are you guys doing? You should start marching. As should you. Alright, come on now. You? You should be surrendering to me. Why are you not willing to surrender? It's only 48%, huh? What do you own? Ah, uh, he owns a bunch of that, that's why. And we need to take that county there. Okay, you guys go back and take that one. You guys start pressing forward into this whole Norway deal. Assault. Onward to Perm. The hordes are advancing. You're too small. That seems to be the army of Jillan. That's the probably the main force that he is counting on to save him. So we'll want to beat that army up. I see a couple more at 100%. We got this guy. And this guy.
And we'll wait for now. Okay, you should assault. And there's probably an army over here somewhere that we can assault with, yep. And are you there yet? Oh, look at that. Look at that timing. It's like a sixth, sixth sense that I have. Assault all the things, regardless of the cost. Just take it. It's yours. You can have it. Glory to Hungary. Suffering monstrous attrition. Because of that darn pagan supply limit, but. Don't really care that much. Okay. Who's next? Who else wants to surrender? You? We are over the domain limit, so I do need to take a moment to give away, give away some more land. It's a lot easier when you just don't care about the land that you own. It is quite a bit quicker. Okay. We want to advance to the glowing things. So how about you guys go to here? Glowing things, glowing things. Assault. Wow, that's a big army. Um, why doesn't one of you go back? Hopefully this battle goes well, because this is pretty much the entire army of Svithjad. Yeah, it looks like Jillen's finally, or Holstein actually, is willing to surrender. That's good. Okay, so that's good. Um, Sold that back because that's the army of Jillin being a jerk. Did somebody take that back. All right, and from here I think we kind of ignore Jillin. That's actually Sajaland. Are you not willing to surrender yet? Of course not. Why would you be willing to do something as reasonable as that? We did win, so let's chase him to Ostergotland. You should assault. I'm not seeing any war scores that are terribly low. So we'll just kind of focus on these still. People are plotting and stuff, who cares? There should be something going on up that way too now. Thank you, we do accept your surrender. Cool. We're going to declare war on you again, by the way, just so you know. We don't care about truce. It means nothing to us. I think the other great thing about 
staying at the king level and having a son who's a duke is that the counts can never really do anything against him. Because they can't create a duchy. They can try to usurp his duchy, but he'll have so much power that no one will ever be able to fight him. So we should be pretty safe, I think. North. Travel. Go. Get them. Assault. Attack. Never give up. Never surrender. Okay, as expected, she probably occupied something. Altmark. Altmark. That's that one. Path through to Altmark. Take it back. It's only the year 896. We started in 867, so it's been 29 years. Last time I think we did it in 60 years, if I remember correctly. And I'm over my domain limit again, so once again we've got to give away land. Not ready to break any truces yet, so I think what we'll do is definitely save Save the duchy creation for right before I need to break truces. Because it costs, you have to have enough prestige to be able to break the truce. And generally, that is about four to five hundred prestige. The first couple truces that I break are going to cost me the most because we have eight thousand right now. And I think what I'm going to do is actually split this in half. Two armies of 15 would probably work better than one army of 30. It's a lot of tiny little armies. In the next patch, they're adding in a split armies button. Which is going to be interesting. I wonder how well that's going to work in conjunction with keyboard shortcuts. I'm not going to remove the you know, send troops to each side button, because I just find it to be too useful. But it'll be interesting to see if split troops can work well with with it as well. Okay, so they're advancing slowly. You are still having issues, aren't you? Perm is just not willing to surrender. That's Pomerania. Where's Perm? Perm has the little bear flag. There he is. 48%. Assuming we can catch him. Killing his army. No, he's not going to let me catch him. Well, in that case, we'll just go assault the rest of his stuff. I don't think there's really any value in taking his land, but he decided to defend somebody, so we'll kill him again. Sounds fine to me. Okay. 
So we're back on track for speedy conquest. It was slowed down tremendously by that really obnoxious timer thing. Just how slow it was taking with giving away titles and stuff. But it makes sense to me. I mean, the game's not really designed to be played that way. So, of course, it's not really, be, not really designed to be conquered in 40 years either, but that doesn't mean we can't do it. This doesn't appear to be a glowing thing. Why are we here? Whose war are you helping with? Autar of Hordaland. I don't even know where that is. I don't really care either. Managed to lose a battle. It's a peasant revolt on the island. Hmm. Well, that's no fun. Here, you guys come try to take care of that. take forever to wander around through Norway. But last time it seemed like Norway and Sweden gave me a lot of trouble, so I'm glad that we're up here and doing this now. Alright, so... There'll probably be enough of Perm that after we crush his army, that he'll surrender. Now we can just chase, chase him into the next county over. We don't need to take the entire Holy War target. Some of these war scores are kind of, like, way more negative than I'd like. So... Why don't you come back and take care of these peasants? You guys are coming down to there. You guys are ready for that one. Do I have boats? I do! Yay! So let's raise the boats. Bring them down to this sea zone here so that we can take care of the island. Assault, please! One diplomacy, yay. Okay, I am going to take a break here, give away the land off, off camera, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again very soon.